and a pilot's most righteous right stuff. Terry Drinkwater looks at one more moment in the sun for flight without orbit, but in the wildest wild blue yonder. Here we go, guys. X is for experimental, and the X-29 is to test ultra-sophisticated technologies to make future jet fighters more agile in supersonic dogfights, and to allow them to fly faster and farther with smaller engines using less fuel. Airborne. The X-29 really shouldn't fly. Its wings point forward rather than sweeping back as they do on other jets. If the wings had been made of aluminum or titanium, they would have ripped off but they're of reinforced graphite stronger than steel. Three onboard computers keep the X-29 from crashing, correcting its critical aerodynamic surfaces every 40th of a second. It had been nearly a decade since the last of the often perilous X-plane flights. Along the runway today were several veteran test pilots who thought it was high time to resume testing to push technology forward. Milt Thompson looked back and ahead. Uh, the X-1 was a pretty simple airplane. It was a brute force type aircraft. In the case of the X-15, it did go to much higher speeds and altitudes. In the early research aircraft, you were kind of probing the uh, sonic wall and the thermal barrier. There are unknowns. It's, there is a risk. Pilot Chuck Sewell pronounced the flight nearly perfect. The whole airplane had no discrepancies. Uh, and as far as I'm, con I'm concerned, the airplane could be refueled, turned around, and we could go in a few minutes. It's that good. The concept of forward sweeping wings isn't new. The Wright brothers experimented with them. But today, for the first time, they worked. Terry Drinkwater, CBS News, Edwards Air Force Base, California.